So you're thinking about moving to Meridian, Idaho, and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Meridian, and even take a look at some of the homes, some of the luxury homes here in Meridian. We're gonna be getting after that right now. Hey everyone, so you're looking at moving to Boise, Treasure Valley, you got Meridian on your list, and you wanna know everything there is, we're gonna be covering all that in the video today, and right now I'm standing in a luxury community built by Toll Brothers called the Oaks. I'm actually specifically in the Oaks North, and we're gonna be covering everything you need to know about living in Meridian, and take a look at some of these homes here as well. My name is Curtis Chisholm, I run a real estate team here in the Boise area. If you're looking to move here, my team and I would absolutely love to help you. We love helping clients relocate to Idaho. My myself relocated from San Diego, California. People thought I was crazy, but I absolutely love living here. I love the freedom and I'm sure that you will too. So if you're looking to move here, please reach out. Let's have a conversation, whether you're nine days or 90 days out, we got your back when moving to Idaho. All right, let's get after Meridian. Where is Meridian exactly? Meridian is located just west of Boise. So it borders Boise. So depending where you are, you can just cross, a, cross the street and boom, you're into Meridian. Or it might be 10 minutes from downtown. You're about 10 minutes from Eagle. Um, but depending on where you're at, it might be a little bit longer. So if you're in the central Meridian to central Eagle, you're looking about 10, 15 minutes. Um, out to Nampa, you're looking about 20 minutes. Caldwell, about 20 minutes. Down to Cuna, you're also looking about 20 minutes. So you've, you've got Meridian is kind of divided up into north and south Meridian, uh, really central north and south as well. So north Meridian is gonna be basically from Ustick to Chindin. Um, central Meridian is gonna be Ustick down to I-84. And then South Meridian is going to be south of 84, heading down into CUNA. So if you're looking for brand new construction homes here in Meridian, then you're going to be looking primarily in South Meridian or in West Meridian as you head towards Nampa. Now there are some absolutely wonderful, gorgeous homes here that we're going to get after and take a look at here in just a second. But let's talk a little bit about what there is to do in Meridian. Meridian is kind of the hub for a lot of the sports. Of course, all the um, communities around here have their own sports program, but there's a lot of sports programs here in Meridian. So there's Settlers Park. Um, that's where all the sports take place, the football, um, baseball. There's a huge playground there as well. And that's the thing about Meridian is there are playgrounds and splash pads everywhere for the kids and you're right next to Eagle too which there's some amazing playgrounds and splash pads there as well so here I am in Meridian right now at um, this is the Oaks as I said and there's a playground right here so I'll flip the camera around and show that to you of course uh, but the, a lot of the communities have their own playgrounds built in amongst them and then there's also a lot of public playgrounds as well so if you're like me and I've got, got kids I look for playgrounds wherever I go because my kids love playgrounds. My son Ian, he's always, whenever he sees a playground, 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 he wants to go to it. So we go to a lot of playgrounds. Um, so Settlers Park is a great one. Uh, Keeler Park also, which is right next to the village. So let's talk about the village. The village is super important to Meridian because this is where all the shopping is, the major shopping as far as your major brands. Um, also, you've got a fantastic outdoor area. So it is an outdoor mall. You've got the fountains. You've got light shows going on in the winter time. There's a, uh, an ice rink and they light it up and it's beautifully decorated for Christmas. Um, but this is where a lot of your major shopping is gonna be. If you like me and like to wear Lululemon, this is where you're gonna find your Lululemon. Uh, but there's also a great coffee shop here. There's also a playground and, uh, and great ice cream shops here as well. So the village was built about 2005 or so. And that's what really blew up Meridian. It kind of put it on the map and it started expanding out from there. So um, if you're looking for shopping, the village is kind of your main hub. And there's a lot of major markets right around there. You're gonna have your Walmart, your Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, World Market, Trader Joe's, all gonna be right here. Costco is gonna be in North Meridian. So that's the great thing about Meridian. You do have your Costco and Trader Joe's here in actual Meridian. So you don't have to go outside of Meridian to get to it. 
All right, let's take a look at the Oaks North right now. So I just did a bunch of tours here today, and I wanna dive in a little bit more on this specific community because Oaks North is built right next to Oaks, through the Oaks, and it's the new construction community of the Oaks. So Oaks North and Oaks, um, it's still under development right now. There's multiple phases still being released, and there are a wide range of homes here. You have starter homes, which they call the garden collection, and then kind of your step up homes, the woodland collection, and then you have your um, kind of like top tier luxury, which is the countryside um, home. So these homes are gonna range in size and price points. Now, the, the lot sizes here for the garden size homes are gonna be a little bit on the smaller side. They're gonna be kind of around 8,000 square feet or so. The woodlands are gonna be kind of in the 10 to 12,000 range. And then the countrysides are gonna be kind of the 10 to 13,000 range. So just a little bit bigger, not significantly bigger. Your starter home, the garden collections, these are gonna be right around 1,500 to 2,000 square feet. Might be able to push it a little bit depending on the options you pick up. Woodlands are gonna be really like 2,000 to 3,000 square feet. And then the countrysides are gonna be more closer to the 4,000 square foot range. And you can buy single level or two bedroom homes in any of those collections as well. Now, the really cool thing about Toll Brothers is that you can really customize exactly what you want in the home. So a lot of the other homes that you're gonna find um, around here like Hubble and CBH, and I'll touch on those in a bit, but you're, you're pretty much limited to what they're going to sell you. So it's just what you see is what you get. For the most part, you might have some upgrade options, but Toll Brothers, actually, they give you pretty much unlimited free reign in what you wanna do. These are pretty much all build to suit homes, very few actual spec homes, or what they call move-in ready homes. So when you see move-in ready homes, it, it means it's basically a spec home. Because they've picked everything out. There are very few, if any, modifications that you can make to that home and that's it. But most of the homes, about 75% of what they do are build to suit homes. So you get to go in and you get to basically all the cart, select exactly what you want in that home. So that's gonna be of course somewhat limited as far as if you're in the gardens collection or woodland or the countryside, but you do have a lot of options there to pick exactly what you want. So that's what's really cool about the Toll Brothers homes is that you have a lot of options to choose exactly what you want. The, the downside of that, it is gonna take quite a while to build that home because it's not fully permitted because you might add um, a third garage or an RV bay. And that's what's really cool about the Toll Brothers homes is that you're going to be able to add an RV bay, which I think is super cool product that Toll Brothers offers among other builders as well. But um, so it, you have to go to permit, you have to go to the city and get it permitted and then uh, get it, you know, and then it's break ground. So you're pretty much looking about one year out from when you actually go under contract on a home and select all your options. And then you go into their design center and you get to pick out all the finishes and there's a pretty wide range of finishes that you can select from. So a lot of options you can pick, which is absolutely cool. Um, so again, that being said, we're gonna take a look inside of some of these homes here as well as I'm talking. So as you can see with the countryside collections, this home is huge. It's a single level home, beautiful, beautiful kitchen, living room, dining room, huge, huge master bedroom here as well with massive, massive bathrooms, which is just absolutely incredible. Um, these, these homes have about four to five bedrooms, depending on what you're looking for. You can go as low as three as well if you just want a lot more open square footage for living rooms. As you can see, these homes have massive layouts, very wide open spaces. Now, a lot you gotta keep in mind, these are model homes that I'm showing you right now. And the thing about these model homes is that they are kind of gingerbreaded out. So you get all the bells and whistles here. Those may or may not come with a house. Those are definitely gonna be extras. You might have to put them in afterwards as well. Toll Brothers may or may not actually put those in. Now these homes here in the Oaks North, they're gonna range anywhere from the starter homes from about $550,000 all the way up to about 1.2, 1.3, for the larger countryside homes. Now there's a lot of resell homes here available, of course, in Meridian. Meridian is mostly built out already. There's not that much new construction actually happening. As I mentioned, you're pretty much gonna be in the uh, South Meridian or uh, West Meridian, or maybe a little tiny bit on North Meridian, but pretty much you're limited to those edges because Boise's built out, Meridian connects to Boise. Eagle um, is pretty much built out, at least in the south end of Eagle where it connects to Meridian in the north. So, um, 
everything else is going to be pretty much resell. Now the median price for Meridian is right around $700,000, about $650,000, $700,000. That's shifting right now in the market that we're in where I'm shooting this. This so it might come down a bit as we, as we progress here, um, but that's about what you should expect to pay. Now, if you're looking for a kind of a move up home, if you're a family of two, three, four, and you're looking for a larger home, 2,400 square feet or so, you're probably gonna be in the 750 range or more, depending on how much bells and whistles you want on the home. Now, there are a few other builders here as well that operate. You do have Hayden Homes, CBH, Hubble, and then some other luxury builders like Boise Hunter and Brighton Homes. So Boise Hunter, they're definitely on the high end luxury home, um, production, uh, not production, but custom built. And then you've got Brighton, which is, they're, they're kind of a tract home builder, but they're fairly custom as well and very high end builder. And then you've got Hayden, Hubble, and CBH. And so you kind of, you got Hayden, and then you got CBH and Hubble. And people kind of go back and forth as far as who's better or who's worse. Um, but here's the thing about Hubble and CBH, and to some extent Hayden, is that they're the most affordable builders that you're gonna find here in Meridian and the Treasure Valley. So what that means, you don't get a lot of options. You kind of, it's what you see, what you get. And um, the quality may not be quite what you're gonna get, definitely will not be quite what you're gonna get in say a, uh, Brighton home, a Toll Brothers home, and, and, or a Boise Hunter home, but they're much more affordable price points. Um, Hubble is trying to move into the more luxury market as well, so there are some communities now that they're working on that are going to be more in the luxury area. So we'll see how that all plays out. Um, if you're looking for the RV bays, then um, Hubble is very, very limited on that. CBH does not have those at all. You might find some with Hayden. Um, but, and if, but if you're really looking for RV bays, you're probably gonna wanna check out really parts of Star, a little bit of Eagle, and Caldwell, and Nampa as well. Now, the thing about Meridian is you are right in the action. You're really close to Boise. You're not far from Boise State, downtown Boise, uh, not far from Eagle, where a lot of great restaurants are located in Eagle as well. But Meridian has its own food scene that's starting to pop up as well, which has certainly changed over the years. Now, again, you're also not too far from Caldwell, which has a lot of wineries. I personally love visiting the wineries. So you're about half an hour or so from the winery in Caldwell. Well, that's an overview of Meridian and the dive into the Oaks and Oaks North. If you're looking to make a move to Idaho and to the Treasure Valley, Boise area in particular, and it's the next nine days or 90 days or even two years, please reach out to us and let's have a conversation. And we'll start figuring out what your lifestyle it is, um, what your budget is, what kind of area you're really looking to move to and be a part of, what kind of community you wanna be a part of. My team and I, we live here, we know the neighborhoods, we know how to close deals. We would love to have a conversation with you, but you gotta reach out. And also don't forget to hit subscribe to the channel because we drop new videos every single week. And hit like, it helps the channel and the video out. So we'll look forward to seeing you and talking to you and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.